Hey guys, what's happening? So, the other day I was uh, running my Saza and this 9 amp hour Makita battery just stopped working. Totally failed on me. Um, yeah, which is unusual because it didn't even actually like slowly drain down, it just stopped, you know, all of a sudden. Um, so let me show you this real fast. So, I was hoping that we could troubleshoot it together. Yeah, zero. So I actually haven't messed with it for a couple months. I've been sitting around having a time to play with it. Um, so we're going to take it apart and see if I can figure it out here. Um, so let's actually get my multimeter out here. I mean, I'm assuming I'm not getting any voltage from these from these rails right here. I mean, if you look at this, you have a positive and a negative. It says right there. So what I'm going to look for is to see if I'm getting any voltage here. That's weird. I'm getting voltage there. That's unusual. I'm getting voltage from here, but the device does not work. That is an extremely odd problem. Is it 14 volts? I mean, this is an 18 volt battery. So at 14 volts, I should at least be getting something. I mean, it should be moving around a little bit. All right. So, and what's interesting too on the drill is that, um, you know, all you have are these two legs. So is the power not getting through? Or is it not? Is there not good contact? But you saw I'm getting power. So this is a. I mean, I fix a lot of Makita batteries on this channel. And, uh, but this is a more unusual problem I've never come across. You know, the fact that it doesn't even, doesn't even go, even though I'm getting voltage here. So, um, I'm going to take it apart and, uh, I'll take a look at it. So, the screw is a, uh, TR-10. Uh, I don't know the stock Makita or have the tamper proof on them. Uh, I don't know if these do yet because I can't see in there. But once I pull them out, I'll know. Tamper proof. Tamper proof is like where the little has a little hole in the center right there. But I don't know why they call it tamper proof because all you need to do is get a tamper proof set. <laughs> so I mean, I, don't know. I guess I try to make it a little bit more frustrating. Not sure. Um. Okay. So I want to figure out what's up with this thing. Turn this off. Try to make speed up this part of the video. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, so I've taken apart a lot of these Kia batteries. Alright. Ah, there you go. Is that right there? But why would I still be getting 18 volts? So am I missing half a cell? And they're kind of, well, I mean, one of the things that's interesting is your batteries will get dirty on the inside because depending on what kind of environment you're in, the, the charger basically, while it's charging, blows air through the battery to cool off right there, you know. So you'll have air, so whatever environment you're in, like say if you're in a drywall environment, it's going to blow that dust in there. So, all right, hopefully this is that easy of a fix. Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious what the problem is here. Um... Okay, let me, solder, let me get my soldering iron out, my hacko, and uh, we'll get the solder going here. Alright, so before I get to, or into the soldering part of it, if you're not familiar with these Makita batteries, this is a battery management board, and it basically monitors the cells, and it looks for, uh, like, weak cells, and it will reject the battery. So this is a non-Makita battery, uh, but the Makita batteries, if they fail three times in the charger, then it will permanently reject the battery. There's a flash chip on the actual board that will permanently reject the battery, so you can't charge it anymore. So the cool thing about these aftermarket batteries is they got rid of that flash. I mean, it's Delta dangerous because you can charge a battery with a bad cell and possibly burn a cell out. Um, but it's a battery management board, just not the same thing. It won't reject the battery, typically. Um, because I've actually made several videos on these bootleg boards you can buy on Amazon and stuff. You know, if you have an old battery, an old Makita battery, and you can, um, that's been rejected from the charger, you can replace it with the bootleg board. Um, all right, so let me get that solder back on. Go out up to 800 degrees. Grab a little solder. So I don't know if this is high melt or low melt solder, but we'll see. I'm trying to get some solder on this thing first. New fresh solder. Take some new fresh solder here. All right, we'll get that in here like that. 
Alright. You probably can't see it with my hands in the way. There we go. Alright, let's uh, do another voltage reading here. Okay, it doesn't really matter what side is positive or negative. See? 18 volts. Actually, the polarity is this way. Um, All right, I'm going to put back together and we'll throw in the charger see what happens. Actually, if you have the battery part, then you might as well blow it out like your air compressor uh, or blow the dust out just to you know, keep it cleaner inside there. Better cooling. And I got my Makita charger on there. And what's before, when I would actually plug this battery in, it would like, fail. It would like, start charging. I obviously couldn't find all the cells, the right voltage, and it would fail. So let's see now. But I knew, I mean, even though this is not a, a factory Makita you know, uh, battery, I know if this thing fails one time, I know not to do it again because I know there's something wrong and I typically want to investigate more internally on the battery. But, anyway, we'll see. Might take a while to charge. Like I said, it's been sitting for months. I haven't had a chance to play with it. Alright, we actually charge this. Well, it hasn't failed yet, so that's a good sign. Hey, so it looks like we got a good charge. Let's grab my drill. Thing works. Awesome. All right, so five minutes, a little patience, save me seventy bucks. Yeah, this this repair was obvious, but I mean sometimes it's a little more difficult. But all right, cool. So if you have the same issue, or you know, take a look at that. Awesome.